And thanks to our studio audience for joining us today on Delmarva Life. To find out how you can become a member of our studio audience, visit delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Moms and dads, bring the kids if they're 10 or older. They love it and you get to see the Newsplex too. And if you don't have access to the web, you can also call the number on your screen, 443-880-9116. There's no better way for children to learn something than a hands-on approach, and that's the learning experience many children are getting three days a week in Dewey Beach. It's helping them learn about marine life in the waters of Delmarva, and Brian Spiros is with them this afternoon in the Rehoboth Bay, and Brian, explain how they're doing all of this. Well, Lisa, it's called Sailing in the Bay, and basically they go out there with a net. The kids are out there right now, and they catch whatever they can. We're going to show what they got in just a minute. But first, I want to introduce you to Greg Rossner, who's with the Delaware Seashore State Park. Um, first thing, for people who aren't familiar with this, explain what Sailing the Bay is all about. Well, essentially, we, we take a net out into the bay, and we teach them how to carefully bring all the fish in. We're looking at fish populations, ecosystems. They get to have a living laboratory of what's going on in the bay, what's out there. That's really important for these kids to learn at a young age. Now explain to me the process of what basically goes on um, as they're doing this. They yeah. go out there with the net, explain the process. Yeah, as you see, we have a net with floats up top. We have little lead weights on the bottom. We keep it at a certain angle, and as we come in, the fish stay in the net. And we see what we got. We never know what we're going to get from day to day. So they can basically come on and come on in, guys. We're going to see what they got. So basically, as they're bringing that in, you know, you guys do this three days a week. Which days? Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And what benefits do you see the kids get out of it by doing this? It's an educational experience they wouldn't have in a normal classroom. Right. They get to have absolutely hands-on uh, to see what's actually there. They can. T we, we encourage them to touch the fish, to care for them very carefully. Right. So they're bringing this in now. Um, obviously, and you said too, the one thing, you just don't go out there and drag the net in. You gotta kind of maneuver it around a little bit. Absolutely. So they're coming in right now. We're gonna keep it all the way underwater. We're gonna hopefully get some more things that we got. I see stuff moving around. Oh, wow, best look catch at that. of the we day. So of fish. why don't you hold the net up on either end so they don't go back in the, the ocean. So basically, what are these you caught here? We got silver sides, mostly silver sides. These are small yeah, fish that we, we often get, so very carefully, just gonna cup them and everything else we're gonna and put back into the bay. And then you guys come over and you bring it over here in these pools that you have set up. Yeah. Um, so you guys have caught a lot of stuff here today. Explain to me some of the other things we have. We start, we'll start over here. Yeah, actually, earlier on today, Brian was in the bay and this one came up to say hello. Crawled right up onto my foot. <laughs> so it's a male. We know it's a male with his boxing gloves on the front. They tend to be smaller in size. They're just an incredible uh, creature. So important to the integral part of the bay system here. Got it. So we have those. What else do we have over here that you caught today? Some interesting uh, finds. Yeah, so we, here we, in... we talked a little earlier about our Atlantic silver side, which is a very common species, which we get lots of. And as Brian's looking down into it, we're seeing the top of its brain. And you can see, you can actually see its brain. I yeah. wonder what it's thinking. Does yeah. it know it's on TV? So we have this, what else did we get here? A wonderful find of a pipefish. And this is a relative to a seahorse, and they spend their juvenile life in the bay. And during the winter months, they go offshore. And its specialty is that the males get to keep the egg pouch, as a seahorse does. Wow. So a lot of interesting things we find here. We have the seaweed, which is also very important, you said, um, in the bay. So obviously, it's teaching the kids a lot. And obviously, it's a hands-on experience like none other. None other. And some of the other important things is we may find some hydro medusa, some jellyfish. Which may be hard to see, but jellyfish. So a lot of different stuff in there. Now, we want to go over some important information um, for parents out there if they want their kids to be able to come on down and take part of this. Um, first of all, important thing, they need to pre-register, you Absolutely. said. Absolutely. Um, it's for ages five and up, and it's $4 per person. Um, three days a week, you guys do it. So basically, a lot of fun to be had, and you get to be out in the water on hot days like this and stay nice and cool. Absolutely. All right, Greg, thank you. Very thank much. you very we much, Thank you very much, Appreciate Brian. it. Thank all you guys. Now, if you want any more information on this program, Standing in the Bay, just go to our website, DeltMarvelLife.com, and be sure to click on the show tab. With that said, Lisa, we'll send it back to you in the studio. I may go in the water to cool off for a little bit. Send <laughs> Find it back out to what's you. under the sea. All right. Thanks yes. a lot, Brian. Still to come on Delmarva Life, it's a recipe showdown. Jimmy and I duke it out in the kitchen over a five-minute recipe challenge. Stick around to see Jimmy 
lose. Oh, I don't think so. Big time. No. But first, here's another handy how-to tip for charging your cell phone. Well, if you're like me, you need to charge your phone, so you've got your charger on the end table. The problem is you keep losing it and you have to go get it. Well, that is why you use one of these. Yeah, it's that big binder clip. Here's what you do. Get your charger cord. All you have to do is slip it right through the handle, then put it back. You clip it on the edge of your table, and looky here, it's there every time you need it. There you go.